morning guys so I just got ready for the day if you follow me on Instagram you are aware that I have been trying to count macros I obviously love fitness and working out um, and my mantra sometimes is I work out <laughs> to pay out but that's not always the greatest thing and I'm not always going to be able to eat what I want. <laughs> so I'm trying out macros right now. So that's what we are doing together. He went on to bodybuilding.com and then you put in I think like your weight, your height, your age, all that stuff and it comes up with a number of macros that you should eat. My numbers are, what are they? 30 grams of fat, 135 proteins, and 135 carbs. So all of that is in grams, and that is how much I can eat for the whole day. So whether I wanna have a really, really large dinner, I really need to plan accordingly during the day to make sure that I don't eat too much so then I can have what I want at dinner. So that is generally what I have been doing. Um, my my biggest struggle is fat because I can only have 30 grams that honestly adds up so quickly it's ridiculous and things that like people are like healthy fats well I still can't have those fats I mean I can have them but in smaller portions so like avocado I used to eat a ton of but basically if you look on the back of um, the bag you can look and see okay it has for one serving which is nine pretzels is one gram of fat so that's why I bought these because if I need carbs and protein I can get that with only one gram of fat 23 carbs and two proteins so we've been buying these bars they are pure protein 20 grams of protein which is really good because 130 for me is it's kind of hard to reach um, they have five grams of fat so it's really good and then 18 grams of carbs so I've been eating these for breakfast. Today I'm having oatmeal, which I don't normally have, but Peyton normally has for breakfast. Um, and then the other savior is yogurt. I just get yogurt with no fat, and it works out pretty good. But today I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna eat. So we'll see if I can stay in track with my 30 grams of fat, 100, 135 protein, and 135 carbs. So honestly, I would generally put milk with my oatmeal because I just feel like it's more flavorful. I'm not a huge oatmeal girl, but it is a good option. So I did water, no fat. So here's my oatmeal. What we normally do is scan the barcode at the bottom. So that is where we can add it into our MyFitnessPal. I added it to MyFitnessPal and it's telling me I'm using 32 carbs, two fats, and four proteins. So two fats, that's pretty low. Um, if you think about it to where I can only have 30 grams of fat per day, I want to have no more than 10 per meal so I can make sure that I can have some fat at my other meals. Think about like oil, all that stuff counts as fat. So it is um, easy to add up. So I've already added that in, but what I love is I can go up here and then it's going to tell me my goal. So for some reason the math on this, it won't let me add the actual amounts of my fat it should be 30 and these are 135 so I just know I once I go over I have 15 extra to go over so my oatmeal is ready so I'm going to eat this then I'm heading to the mall and I'm probably not going to eat at the mall I'm probably going to eat back here because it's only like 9 30 right now no it's 10 15 so I might have to eat at the mall or I'll just starve until I get back because eating out is really hard to count exactly so I decided that I should probably take a snack. So I'm going to weigh out, this is the scale that we use to measure all of our food because it's the most accurate way to do it. Um, so one serving of pretzels is 28 grams. So I'm gonna measure 28 grams and put it in a little baggie and then take it with me. So if I get hungry, I have an option. Thank you. 
So I made it to the mall. I am at Plaza Las Americas. This mall is literally the craziest mall I've seen. Um, it's 11 o'clock and I actually got a spot that is pretty close. This is the closest spot I've probably ever got. So I just got done shopping. Um, I didn't really find anything, so I didn't buy anything. So it was a success. Didn't spend any money, but I got hungry. So I'm glad I brought these pretzels. I'm gonna eat these in the car. So I will snack on these until I um, get home. And then whenever I get home, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna have for lunch. All right, so I am back home and I'm about to prep my lunch. I have out what I think I'm gonna eat. And then I'm gonna add it into my fitness pal and then um, correct accordingly to like what I need to adjust, but let me show you. So these are some wraps that I have got at Sam's. I think you can get them at Walmart as well. This is all the chicken I have left. Um, uh, I bet it's only like two and a half ounces. So I also have some white rice that we cooked previously. So I'm gonna make kind of like a burrito in there. Then I'm gonna add spinach. So I'll make sure to scan all of the labels. I scan the label of the bag of this and that's how I figure accordingly, same as the chicken. So it's actually pretty simple. Um, this looks like it would be hard to calculate, but it's just right on the bag. And I measured it and it was three and a half ounces. So that'll work fine. I'd normally do like four. So it'll work and I'll either put a light ranch but this still has seven grams of fat and two tablespoons. It's crazy. It's high in fat. But an average ranch has 14 grams and this has seven. The other option that I normally put is pesto. Let me go grab pesto. 27 grams for one fourth a cup. So I never do a fourth a cup. That's ridiculous. Let's take a look-see, and this is actually a lot of food. Um, if you can't tell, it's a lot. I went ahead and put the pesto on it. Um, I get my pesto from Sam's, it's so good. Um, I can only do 0.3 fluid ounces. So um, instead of doing the ranch, which would have been seven grams of fat, I did the pesto and only did 4.5 grams of fat. So let's look at the whole recap of the day so far. Holy smokes. For my fat, I'm actually doing really good. Normally I would be like, have no fats left. So I went harder on carbs today so far than fats. I'm getting hungry. I ate lunch at about 1 o'clock, 1.30, and now it's about 4, and I'm ready for snack, but I don't know what to eat. Normally I work out at 5 o'clock, and then come home and make dinner, but since Peyton is home a little early from work, it's so nice out, I kind of just want to stay home. Okay, so I made up my mind. I am going to go work out. So like I said just before, I kind of am hungry and I need a snack and what I have the least amount of, um, or what I have the most amount of left for the day is protein. So I'm gonna eat some honey smoked chicken breast. No, turkey breast. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have about two or three ounces of turkey measure it out with my scale, and then go work out. Welcome back guys, I feel like this is a very strange angle. I just got back from the gym, worked out. Okay, so I'm gonna go and look at my fitness pal to see what I have left. Um, Peyton ate the steak that I was gonna eat and I don't wanna cook shrimp. So I'm gonna cook some chicken. I'm standing literally at the grill right now. I have like 100 protein left, which is absurd. 27 carbs and 18 fats left. So I did really good on fats today, but I compensated that for my carbs. Um, I sacrificed and have a lot of carbs today, which normally I have a whole lot of carbs left. Um, I really think the oatmeal is what 
made me suffer right there. Um, I don't normally eat oatmeal for breakfast, but I'm just trying to find things that I can have for breakfast that don't like kill me in one area. So like just a very balanced um, breakfast. Those bars that I showed you are my favorite. So I guess I'll stick with those. I'm gonna cook this chicken and we will see what I can come up with to eat. So I'm heating up the grill. Right now Payne just taught me how to cook on a grill literally like two days ago. But since then I've been killing it. I like the no anti antibiotic ones. I normally buy a big bag of frozen chicken at Sam's but this is just what they had at the store that I went to. And then we also really like to put uh, Montreal chicken seasoning by McCormick. It's delicious. There's also a steak version and they're just so good. Okay, so the chicken is almost done. I wanted to make sure to get my veggies ready and I don't always have veggies. Sometimes I'll just have like potatoes or I've made a pasta in the past um, and it was so good. So I feel like normally when people go on diets or whatever, like it's like, oh, I just have chicken and rice. And that's not necessarily the case, although today I have had chicken or I'm gonna have chicken both meals. That is not normal. Um, there's so much you can have. Last Sunday I had a grilled cheese and I had, um, and that, I'm not saying that's like healthy, but I'm saying it, it fit into my macros and so I was able to eat it. I'm gonna check the chicken and um, I am, it's telling me it's ready. Okay. I'm not gonna have a carb at dinner, like a potato or a pasta, because I really, really wanna have a like treat or dessert after. So dinner's very basic, it's not always like this. But that is just how it worked tonight, so unfortunately, it's kind of boring. All right, here is my chicken, so I'm gonna weigh it on here. I uh, heated up my zucchini and my steamed broccoli. So I'll probably have like four ounces of chicken-ish. All right guys, I have no natural light now. It is, what time is it? 9.20. So um, this is the fun part of the day for me. I really like to snack. I stay up kind of late. And this will be all that I can have for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna have this protein bar because I still need a lot more protein. Um, it's 20 grams of, 20 grams of protein, 16 carbs, and six fats. And super good on fat today, guys. And then this popcorn is my favorite. Um, it is serving size is two cups. I'm just gonna have one cup, um, but it's eight grams of fat, the 18 grams of carbs, and one protein. And it's a bean chicken pop, sweet and salty kettle corn. Go get it, it's so good. So that is my agenda for tonight. Um, this is what I have left. Um, like I've said, this is like my second week doing it, so I'm not that knowledgeable, um, but I just thought it would be a fun example of that you can have so much variety of food while you're on a diet, um, or diet plan restriction. Um, I will confess I had like five of these toasted chips earlier and didn't track it, so just being real, being honest, I cheated a little, but that doesn't really put me over. Um, I just am not gonna calculate it or count or whatever. But I just had a few chips while I was cooking dinner because I wanted it. But for now, I'm gonna eat my popcorn and enjoy just a quiet night at home. Let me give you a total for the end of the day. I forgot. Okay, so I put everything into my fitness pal. I have 114 calories left every day. I My goal is 1,200. I really don't care about calories. That's just what it's saved as. And I did work out, but I, I don't log that because it subtracts it, and for this, I don't really have to subtract it. So let's look at the running total. I didn't get all my protein. At least I didn't go over, but it says I have 43 grams remaining. Carbs, I was right at one. 30, 140, and my goal is 135, but I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm not, that doesn't upset me. What I'm excited about is fat. I had four grams of fat left, so I accomplished my goal for the day. It didn't go over on fat. 
because the past few days I've been going like four or five over, which is, again, I'm, I'm not being that picky. But I love that I reached my goal for the day. Thanks so much for being here, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.